going on guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of 970 Bass Fishing. Today we're back out here at the private spot with Travis of course. We're going to be catching some fish but I have a challenge to throw in and Travis hasn't seen it yet and he doesn't know about it yet but you can't use your normal setup until you catch a fish on these bad boys. So you use one of these bad boys right here guys. Coming up first you got the 1780s Rhino. In second place, you have the 1600s Mantis Authentic. <laughs> the Shakespeare Titanium TI-10. And of course the Mantis rolling down on a seven foot medium rod. That's what we got. Some old boy at work gave me those rods, so and I haven't even touched them. I haven't changed the line or anything. I think it's all going to be on the luck of the draw with which rod has the best line on it. And you have to catch a fish, whether it be a catfish, a perch, anything. You have to catch a fish on one of those setups. Take it on the mantis. You got to catch a fish on it before you can go to your other setup. And it could—it's going to be tricky because I have no idea what kind of lines on there. I don't know how old any of these are. We're going to do like this 1970s challenge with some hot dogs and see if we can at least catch a catfish, something small, maybe a bass, something so I can go back to my normal setup. But that's the challenge for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. It should be pretty exciting and pretty fun. So let's get to it, guys. Peace. There's a little person. All right, folks. Starting off with the, the chicken dog and the amazing rhino. It says indestructible glow tip. So we're just gonna, you know, cast the 70s reel out there. We're gonna hope for the best with these fish. Hopefully I can land something because my, I don't know what's on this. I have no idea what kind of line this is. That way I can start using my bass gear Got to, got to complete the challenge. Also, I hope the audio is better for you guys. I got the mic on this time around. So, hopefully there's not a lot of wind noise because all my other audio has just been straight garbage. Yes! Yes, I caught a perch! <laughs> yes! I didn't even feel him. There we go guys, a muddy perch. It's not the way I like to do it, but I had to. He fell off. Yes, I'm done with this. Oh, you're changing the rules? All right, rules have been changed, folks. It's gotta be a catfish. Yeah, a perch isn't gonna show the true power of the indestructible glow tip rhino. <laughs> Look. Really? Is it a cat? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Can you oh, even... <laughs> Reel it, bro. Oh, <laughs> you might have... oh, it's a big bag. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, you might have to handline that. Oh, gosh. Double up. Double. What do I have? I got a cat, dude. Large mouth on. Good one. Oh. It's a hog. It's a good one, dude. Get it in, bro. Bring him in. Yeah. Double up. Hot dog bass, baby. Dang, how heavy is that one? I'd say four, dude. I would say four. This catfish is beautiful, dude. I got it. Dude, nice. You want to put the scale on it? Oh, yeah. All right, guys. There's a beautiful, tiny little catfish. Let's get him released. All right, there's Travis's bass. Let's get him back in the water. Sweet. <laughs> now you got to catch a catfish. I know. I thought it was a catfish. I'm going to try to catch another one. Another hot dog eating bass. I'd have to say, guys, this is pretty fun using these rods. Got a perch and a catfish so far. 
on the old rhino. See if we can get something that puts up more of a fight. <laughs> There's one. There's a fish on the old. Oh, it's seized. <laughs> I know, I just got two tiny little babies, dude. Pretty fish, though. Yeah! There's a catfish. All right. Now I can use my normal stuff. There we go. Another beautiful cat, guys. Sweet. All right, guys, I'm going to go for one more fish on the on the rhino. I'm just bouncing a hot dog guys, giving it that solid action. There's one. We crossed lines. Did we? Yeah. So we both caught Teamwork. <laughs> uh, you you? I think I did. Dang, dude. Yeah. What kind is that? That's not a channel. It is. Really? That's a blue. Cat, dude. That's, a blue. That's all I've been catching today. <laughs> all right, guys. There's a blue catfish, I think. It looks blue. It's got a blue tent. It's got a pretty mouth. It's got a small mouth. All right. I've shown myself worthy with the rhino. I give up now. All right, guys, now I'm bass fishing. I'm gonna try to catch more bass this time now that I'm done with the challenge. The line held up, I was expecting to break that line. Oh, yep. There he is. Yep. Little guy, but he was right there on that brush pile. Yo. Yeah. What's up, buddy old pal? I knew you were hanging out back there. Yo. Yeah. He's been straight munching, dude. He's got like herpes. Ugh. His mouth's disgusting. <laughs> Look at that, man. He's got like herpes. All right, guys, beautiful largemouth right off that brush pile, real shallow, munching on crawfish, I'm sure. See you later, buddy. Gone. It is. There's one. Yes. Whoo. Yeah, buddy, I knew they were over here. Come on. Let me get you unhooked and then you won't be in pain, huh? How about that? Yes. Yes, sir. It's probably two and a half. Two and a half pounder. Whoo! Right back here on that same brush pile, guys. You gotta find the inlet. You gotta find the inlet. Oxygen. Let me get right up underneath that freaking inlet, too. Slammed, bro. There he is. Oh, he came off. Get him. Get back in there. Right on the edge of that brush pod. Didn't get a good hook set at all. He caught me by surprise. Dang, this weather's crazy, dude. You send off. What is this? One backlash. <laughs> What's up, guys? Sorry that uh, the video ended so abruptly. I was just editing it and realized I didn't do an outro because the wind picked up so bad and Colorado experienced its first tsunami ever. Not really, but 
you, you know what I mean. I mean, the waves were huge. Our baits were blowing off of the freaking dock and out of my pockets and through the windows of the car. It got crazy. And it stayed that way the whole time. So that's the way the video had to end. It was a fun, fun day though. I, I really liked doing that little spin cast challenge. And if you guys like that as well, you should try it too. It's a lot of fun. Just go out, get some used spin casts or spinning reels and don't change the line and just try to catch some fish on them. It's a rush, keeps you on that juicy, seat and it's a lot of fun. But yeah guys, that was, uh, that was that day. Caught some bass, caught some catfish, had some fun out here at 970 Bass Fishing. If you guys liked the video, smash that subscribe button for me. Let's get those subscribers up there. I will do a rod and reel giveaway once I hit 250 subscribers. And I'll let you guys know when I hit it. And I'll give you guys probably mm, two weeks to enter the giveaway. And I'll let you know what kind of rod and reel it's going to be. So that's it. So let's get these subscribers up, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Tell your friends about it. Leave a comment down below about what kind of challenges you would like to see, what kind of challenges you've done that have been fun for you guys, so I can try them, because maybe I haven't done them before. And uh, yeah, leave a like, guys. Smash that little thumbs up button that looks like this. It'll turn blue, and uh, hit that notification bell. That way you know when my videos come out. But other than that, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. I'm sorry that the uh, outro was in a house and not at the lake, but that's okay. Sometimes you forget to do outros, but as always guys, stay hooked. Get out there and catch some big fish. Peace.